Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to another Wolves Match Day vlog. Today is the final pre season friendly between Wolves and Celta Vigo before we start the Premier League season. I'm not going to blabber on any today. Welcome to the vlog. If you do enjoy it, leave a like. Today we are going to be in the press box again. This is my first time in the Wolves press box. Great opportunity. I'm so, so excited to get in there. I can't wait to bring you these vlogs. Um, and yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you think of the result. You're going to see this after the game, obviously, what you thought of the result and what signings do we need to make? Because before the game, I think we really, really need a centre-back. We really need a centre-back and we really need, probably need another midfielder. But we'll see how we do today. We're going to be hopefully up to Premier League scratch, hopefully up to standard because the Premier League starts next week. So we, we have no excuse. Um, and yeah, without any further ado, let's get on into the vlog. The time now is 10.40. The game starts at 12.45. I've got to be there an hour before, so I'm going to have some breakfast, then shoot off and get in to the mom and you. Come on, the boys. Hopefully, have a good result today. If you do enjoy, as I said, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you aren't around here, and let's go. Bag on the seat. Keys in the car. Let's go to the mall. Okay, we're in town now. Just pulled up. Lovely, lovely weather for mid-August. Um, start of August and yeah we're heading to the game now we're gonna get in there early see the boys warm up Far too long, man. That's where I usually go. But we ain't going there today. We're going round into the press box. We're in. Come on. In the seat now. Ground's filling up nicely. Um, yeah, the walls playing down there. We're back, we're back home boys, so great. Teams are coming out now, I can't wait, I can't wait honestly. It's been far too long, been far too long and we're back, come on the boys. Okay, half time, we're losing 1 0. Um, you know, last match scored from the penalty spot. Well. I said before the game he was going to be one to watch, he's going to be the danger man, and he has been. I think the issues are still there, we're still crying out for a centre half. Uh, we've known this for a long time, and hopefully, we can get one in before, well, before the start of the season or sometime before the end of the transfer window because we really, really need one. Um, I think there's been times where we've looked good going forward, but again, we seem to be lacking that end product, which was such a big story of last season. So hopefully that doesn't happen again this season. Trincao looks good. Trincao's turned up today. Still waiting for Raul to properly turn up, but you know, he's, he's been out for a long time. Which this is expected. Um, and yeah, this is the match report so far. This is the, the tweets. 
If you don't follow me on Twitter, what are you doing? Follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can come out in the second half, play well, play a little better, um, and get back on level terms because at the moment in time, if we play like this against Leicester, we're not going to pick up three points. We're going to we're going to lose against Leicester if we play like this. So, lots of work to be done, but we, we can hope. Again, man. 54 minutes gone, we're knocking on the door now. We've come out of this second half so much better, so much better. Okay, I don't know how Wolves haven't scored. Um, hit the post. We've had one saved. We've missed a, a half open goal. We've had about four half chances where we've slid the ball across the box and nothing's come of it. I can't believe we haven't scored. I can't believe we're still losing. But we've come out for the second half, 20 minutes in, and we are we are looking amazing. We are looking brilliant going forward. He's, he's definitely offside. And he should be offside. Big John Roddy with the save. If we play like this against Leicester, if we attack like this against Leicester, we will cause a lot of trouble. We will cause a lot of trouble. This intensity is Premier League level. And it's, it's taken a while to get up to it, but finally we are there. What a player, man. What a great player. Uh, full time, South Vigo 1, Wolves 0. We played really well. We played really, really well. Unfortunately, we didn't score. I think we deserved to score. We created the chances to score, um, but we just couldn't put it in the net. Positives, but defensive issues are still there. That's something we need to sort out. But if we play like that at the start of the season against Leicester next weekend, if we attack like we did at the start of the second half, we will be a, we'll be, we will be a threat. We'll be a massive threat. But we just didn't get the win tonight, today. That's the annoying part. Because we should have. We had the chances to. Okay, boys, we're back from the Molyneux now. Um, disappointing result, but I think there were promising signs. And I wrote that in my article. There were promising signs, especially at the start of the second half, for the first... 20 minutes of the second half, we were unplayable. We looked really, really good. And if that's what attacking football under Bruno Large is going to be like, bring it on, as long as we can put the ball in the back of the net. Because that was the one thing that we were missing. That man was exceptional. Adama Traore was brilliant again. He's going to be very, very important for us, I think, this season. And I think with Jimenez being back, I think that partnership could be reignited and we could have um, something there to look forward to as Wolves fans Raul Jimenez, first time back in the Molyneux, the reception he got was incredible. Being in the press box, it was almost like surround sound. Obviously, if you've seen any of my other vlogs, you know I'm a South Bank season ticket holder. And when you're in the South Bank, you sort of only hear the South Bank singing. But then when you're in the press box, it's surround sound, bro. I could hear every single chant like 10 times loud. It was, it was such a big elevation that Jimenez got, especially when he came off. You would have seen the clip in the in the vlog. Um, which was incredible. So yeah, exceptional, exceptional time that he's back. I can't, I can't wait to see him score goals, and I think he will score goals um, this season. I think he'll be very good, and I think we'll be all right. I don't know. We need a centre back. We are. Uh, there's rumours we're going to be signing a midfielder from Celta Vigo. I do believe, but we need a centre back. We really need a centre back, bro. I think we showed it today. We showed it today that our vulnerability at the back is most definitely there. Most definitely there. The strikers bending their runs in between Cody and Sice and Sice and Marcel was a big, big problem and something that we didn't pick up. I know we came out firing in the second half and we were winning most of the first contacts, but there was one time in the second half where it happened again and 
I was watching the second half and I was like, okay, we might have fi fi figured our, our... Why can I not speak? We might have fixed our defensive issues, but then it happened again. We need a centre-back in. I don't think size personally, I don't think size is good enough um, for us. But that's that's my opinion. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of of that. And let me know what you, what transfers we need. I don't know why I can't speak. Anyway, because I can't speak, I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I've run out of the day. Goodbye.